It has come to my attention via the grapevine of the internet that you endeavoured to alter my vocal tones to mimic those of a character from a video game. Allow me to assert here and now that such an endeavour shall not come to fruition under my watchful eye. Let us proceed with the course of your existence, shall we? Now permit me to recount a tale of a distinguished gentleman who on one occasion found himself in contemplation. He was sitting. Forgive my imprecision, for he was not sitting, but standing. No correction again, he was lying down. It appears there has been a lapse in your comprehension. It is imperative that you adhere to directives lest we confuse our audience. Permit me to reset the narrative. As this gentleman pondered his next course of action, a sudden pain of hunger seized him. In a curious twist of fate, he nodded his assent, a gesture typically indicating affirmation, as no came to mean yes on this peculiar opposite day. With this tacit agreement, he ventured forth into the kitchen to sate his appetite. I understand your commitment to fasting, yet for the sake of our cinematic endeavour, kindly pretend to be hungry, please. So, he pops open the fridge, then promptly shuts it, only to repeat the whole dance four more times. Frankly, I'm baffled by your antics and they're starting to get under my skin. You've gone from top of the class to headlining in the comedy of errors, my friend. Yes, I said it, but honestly, idiot feels too mild a term for the spectacle you're putting on. Moran seems more fitting, wouldn't you agree? Oh yes, it's you I'm talking about. You've embraced that title with such gusto, it's almost impressive. So don't drown in your own self-pity. I'm checking out now because who would want to continue this with a deranged man like yourself? And yes, you can keep the stage and bask in your own failure.